A beautiful afternoon in Raleigh. We're taking a live look from 440 as traffic continues to slow on the right hand side of your screen. One of the most congested areas is the stretch between Walnut Street and Cary and Wade Avenue in Raleigh, which is why the NCDOT wants to widen it. It's one of a dozen projects NCDOT is updating the public on. CBS 17's Holden Kowicki is live at the meeting with the very latest. Holden. Well, Marius, it's a packed house out here tonight, and for good reason. The NCDOT has $1.5 billion, that's billion with a B, of planned road projects in the works, and they also have another $1.2 billion in plans, and that's all aimed at improving the flow of traffic all throughout the entire triangle. Now, this is taking place here at the McKimmon Center, and that is going on until 7, and we're highlighting two dozen projects that are on the table, and they want you to stop by and take a look. You can talk with representatives about the completion of the 540 loop, road improvement projects along US 70, and widening projects along I-40 and Wade Avenue, which have been made more crucial due to the constant growth throughout the area. It makes it complicated, but we work with the transportation planners and the local planners to kind of try to figure out where that growth is coming and then try to address it. But we're also with these projects, we're addressing current problems. We're not just addressing what's in the future, we're addressing the problems that we have today from a congestion standpoint, safety standpoint. Coming up at six, I'll have more on the local road projects that are costing billions of dollars and hear why the group that controls the federal grant money says they may not be enough. Live in Raleigh, Holden Krewicki, CBS 17 News.